Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is standard 3.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this expression here. We need to find a number that is equivalent. Now we call this an expression simply because we don't have an equal sign. If we were to put an equal sign, we'd call it an equation. But either way, 5 plus 700 plus 40 equals something, and there's no f, g, h, or j to choose from, so we're going to have to bubble it in on the answer document here. So first, let's figure out what we're dealing with. 5 plus 700 plus 40. You know, it almost looks like, it looks a little bit like expanded form, except they just didn't put it in the right order. But we know that there is a property of addition, right? So it's called a commutative property. And you might not know that word, but you probably know what it means. So the commutative property of addition lets us take the add-ins and rearrange them, right? So 7 plus 5, for example, is the same as 5 plus 7. You can add them in any order, which means I can rearrange this right here. And I could put this 5 back here at the back, and it's still the same. So I could change it to 700 plus 40 plus 5. See, didn't that look a little bit better? It's going down in order from your hundreds to your tens to your ones. All right, so most of us know how to deal with something that looks like this. So that would be one way to solve this problem is to kind of rearrange it so it looks like the regular standard form. Because once we do that, well, we can draw our place value chart. So it looks like we've just got uh, our largest is going to be three digits right there. And so there's our ones. And I'm going to put our decimal right there because on our answer document, when we fill this in, it's going to look like that. It's going to have three spots right next to the decimal. We don't really worry about numbers smaller to the right to the, of the decimal in third grade a whole lot, unless we're really dealing with money. Ones, it's going to be that first place. And then there's the tens place. And then there's the hundreds place. All right, so let's look to see what we have. So you can either go from right to left or from left to right. But we've got five ones. And then we've got... 40, all right, so this 40, and if you see, it's got two places right there. So that zero, first one is the ones place, so there's, I'm not going to put anything there. There's already a five in the ones place, but I can put a four in this tens place right here. And then I've got a 700, so there's my ones place, there's a zero. Tens place, there's a zero. Hundreds place, there's my seven. Okay, so 745 is what it looks like. If you wanted to, this is an addition problem. As long as you line it up correctly, you could also have done this. Done vertical addition. 700. Like I said, we have to line everything up on the right. Plus 40. Plus 5. Look at that. 0 plus 0 plus 5. 0 plus 4. And then 7 in all those blanks. All right, so... Either way we look at it, this expression is equal to 745. But, like I said, there's no F, G, H, or J to choose from. All right, so we're going to go to our answer document. We're going to see we've got a little tiny column there that's got the decimal. That, there's no bubbles. We can't do anything with that. So our answer document is only going to have three columns that we can actually bubble in. So we need to make sure that we've bubbled in 700. 45, write that across the top, and then you need to find the correct digits underneath, the 7, the 4, and the 5, and then make sure you bubble them in completely. Don't leave any blanks. Do not color outside of the circle, and that is your answer.